We are back in New York for a bit. We have a couple things we need to do on the van and a couple things we need to do at home base. So what do we got to do? Van's currently at the auto body shop. The T1N sprinters are known for having a panel underneath the windshield where the windshield wipers are that rusts out. So we're getting ours cut out and replaced before it turns into a serious problem. Uh, that'll give us a new windshield as well, which may or may not have been cracked for the last three years. <laughs> but uh, time for the new one. So we want to get back to New York, get a couple things fixed. We have other things we need to take care of as well when we're here. And then we'll get back on the road. But we want to make sure that the van is running as close to 100% before we get back on the road. So we're staying at our friend's house for a couple days. And that's why we can't walk straight right now because we're uh... <laughs> currently walking <laughs> his dog and our dog. Um, but they were nice enough to let us stay at their house while we're in the area. So today we are in Orange County, New York, and we're going to do something a little bit different today. So what's inside here is what we're going to do today. Pretty excited. Yeah, not our usual adventure. We are staying with a friend of ours who happens to be a pilot. I haven't seen his papers, but I believe him. And uh, he's gonna take us up today, so we're gonna do a little aerial adventure from the Orange County Municipal Airport and do some local flying. So a little side note, Orange County Airport is actually where I started to learn how to fly. I have around 40 hours of flight time under my belt, but have not yet completed the ground school portion of the process. So uh, not an official pilot yet, but it's on my list of things to finish up so one day I can be the pilot rather than the passenger. Before takeoff, we performed our pre-flight checklist, making sure the Piper Warrior aircraft was full of oil, full of fuel, and ready to hit the skies safely. In this episode, we return to the Hudson Valley, New York region, where we lived for 15 years while we were working our corporate nine to five jobs. A place where we worked hard, played hard on the weekends, and daydreamed about more travel and adventure during our two hour daily commutes to and from work. It's where the idea for Suits to Sandals was born, and we couldn't honestly think of a better way to revisit some of the beautiful places near our home and to get a bird's eye view from above with our great friend and private pilot, Andre. We enjoyed a great day in the sky, catching views of the Hudson River, the Shawanagunk Ridge Trail, which we have through hike by the way, the Mohonk Mountain House and Skytop Tower, and takeoffs and landings at Orange County Airport and Columbia County Airport.
miss the feeling of having the controls of a plane. And this adventure made me realize I need to get to work, finish up my private pilot license, so I can take to the skies. Hobby. Yeah. Not too shabby. So some very exciting news. After our van has been in the body shop for five days, we finally got it back and I am so excited to have the van back. I think Maisha cannot wait. She's going to be so excited when she sees it. Do you want to explain what happened? Well, we don't really know, but we know that we had a cracked windshield that started as a small crack, turned into a bigger crack, and then turned into multiple cracks, and we finally decided it was time to get it fixed. The body guy believes the windshield was replaced once previous, and it wasn't necessarily painted or sealed up properly, which caused it to crack. And then once you have the crack, I'm sure water can get in, and it causes it to slowly sit there and rust out, which is basically what happened while we were driving it. So now we've got an entirely new panel that they took took the old one out, put the new one in. This piece is completely brand new and was replaced. A brand new windshield, everything's been sealed, painted, glued the way it's supposed to be done, so we should be good for a while. Hopefully. Fingers crossed, if that windshield cracks again, I might cry. So it's been six days since we got back into New York. The van is finally fixed. We had one more part that broke yesterday. We were supposed to leave yesterday. That didn't happen. But that's what we planned for. We always have one extra day in the mix because you never know what's going to happen. And we need it at that time. And we just want to give a huge thank you to Andre and his family for putting up with us for the last six days. You guys are awesome. Thank Feeding you so us, much. Having a party. It's a good time. But we are back on the road and heading back upstate now. Do you want to tell everyone where we are? Tacos. This is our spot. We've been coming here for years. So whenever we roll back in town, this is where it's got to happen. Yeah. First name basis in this establishment. gonna leave this video right here we got a whole shot it back to home base we got a couple of things to take care of if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button down below give us a like and thanks for following along